Hey guys, Denise here with Print Aura. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use our mock-up tool. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're signed in. So I'm already signed into my account, so the next thing I need to do is come up here to where it says My Images slash Mock-up Tool. Then I just need to click Mock-up Tool. So this is our mock-up tool. I'm going to go over a couple of the features with you now. So we have this products tab that allows you to browse through all of our different products. We also have this images tab that allows you to either upload an image from your computer or select an image from the designs you've already uploaded. In the products tab, we also have some options. You can choose which kind of mockup you want to use. Right now we're looking at the cutoff body view. You can also look at a full body view with a smile, which shows the model smiling a full body view without a smile, which shows the model not smiling, and then also a ghost view, which shows just the t-shirt and no person at all. For today, I think I'm going to make my mock-up with the cutoff body. You can also choose your print type, standard or jumbo. You can also choose the view, whether you want to be creating a mock-up of the front or the back. We also allow you to choose from all of the colors that are available in the t-shirt you've selected. And you can just change them by clicking the color. So if you've already decided which product you want to create a mock-up for, you can select brand here and choose the brand and then select the product. If you aren't sure which product you want to use, you can also look through the different products we offer. So I've already chosen the type of t-shirt I want to make a mock-up for, so I'm going to select next level. And then scroll down and choose the lady sporty v-neck. I'm going to click OK. And now I have the product that I want to create the mock-up for. So the next thing I want to do is come over here to images, and I can either upload an image or select an image from my images. Now, when you upload an image, if it doesn't meet our file requirements, you'll get a little message. So I'm going to go ahead and upload an image that I have on my desktop that is 72 dpi, which is much too small, and also just the sizing is off. So I'm going to click here to upload it, and I'll just show you guys a little message you'll get. So it's telling me the file you have uploaded has a resolution of 72 dpi. Our service requires print images to be 300 dpi. We do not guarantee the print size or quality of images that are not 300 dpi. And then you can see more information and it's going to ask you if you're sure you want to upload the image. So at this point, honestly, you want to say cancel and go change your image. If you upload it at 72 dpi, it's going to be a much lower quality print than what you're looking for. So I'm going to click cancel and I'm going to go ahead and select an image from my images that I know fits the image requirements. So I'm going to go ahead and select this image. So here's my image. This green box here represents the maximum print size you can have on a t-shirt. And that changes with the different t-shirts, just make sure to keep your design within that box. So I'm going to move this around to where I think is the center. If I want to make sure that it's centered correctly, I can click these little links down here, center horizontally and center vertically. I actually don't really like it being centered vertically, so I'm going to bring it up a little bit. So one of the really cool things about using the mock-up generator is that you can get a pretty good idea for how your design will look up against different colors of shirts. So I'm going to go ahead and start playing around with this and see how it would look on a hot pink shirt, how it would look on a blue shirt. I'm of course not really going to try any of the darker colors because there's just not enough contrast. Like you can barely see the image on a darker shirt. So I'm just going to keep in the lighter varieties of the shirt and figure out which ones I like the best. So at this point I can do one of two things. I can either generate one mock-up that's just the color that's showing here, or I can select multiple colors and generate more than one mock-up. So let's go ahead and create a mock-up for the Tahiti blue and also for the white. 
In order to select more than one color at once, you'll need to hold down the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC. So I have white selected and I also have my Tahiti blue selected. So now I can come over here and click generate mockup slash print file. So if you scroll down, you can see that my two mockups were generated along with a copy of the image that I have on the shirt. The mockup tool can be used in two different ways. Number one is to provide us with a mockup so that we can see where you want your design placed. Number two is that you can download the image and use it on your website as a product image. So just to clarify for you guys, when you select download, that means you will be downloading it to your computer. When you click save file, that means you'll be saving it to the print aura website in my images. So I don't really need to do anything with this because I already have it saved in my images. If it's an image that you uploaded from your computer, you can click save file and it will save it to your images. You also have the option down here to download all of your files or you can save all of your files. Since I already have this image in my images, I'm just going to save the files of the mockups. And it'll show me the progress right here. So that one says that it was successfully transferred to my images, so we'll just do the same for the blue one. Okay, so this one is saved as well. So now if I go back to my images, both of the mockups should be saved. And here they both are, my white one and my blue one. So now I have my mockup files that I can use when I upload my products to Print Aura. That's really all there is to it to using the mockup tool. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.